Next is from Seth McGregor. He asks, how do you mount your GoPro when you go to yard sales? What kind of mount and where do you mount it? Hey guys, it is Monday morning and I've got about a dozen eBay orders to ship out today. Let's get to work. Okay, first two things. Um, I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. Well, this one I did. This one was just in my uh, office area. I didn't even list it. This is a vintage Seattle Mariners hat. Got this at a garage sale last week for $2.50 and a viewer reached out um, wanting to buy it named John. And uh, I said, how about $20 shipped? And he said, that's good for me. This right here was listed on eBay. It is an old Cheetos container. I picked this up about a month ago at a garage sale. I've got 50 cents into it. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. Also going to a buyer named Juan. I want to thank you guys both so much for the support. And Juan bought this container for his wife, Deja. So I really hope she likes it. Okay, next thing is some snowboard boots right up here. Bright orange snowboard boots. Uh, they are, what brand are they? Solomon. Got these at a garage sale about, what was it? six weeks ago or something like that and i've got about five dollars into them it was like a bulk deal where i bought a lot of stuff these uh it's a good time of year to be selling them because you know snowboard ski season all that stuff's coming so uh these sold for 49.99 plus shipping next is in c1 this is something i picked up a couple months ago at a garage sale it is some bookends these elephant bookends right here I paid two dollars for them let's see where the other one is there he is. I was originally thinking about putting these in the antique booth, but when I looked them up, they um, had some pretty good value. So I decided to go ahead and list them on eBay. And what's cool about these is each one has a hidden compartment. So when you lay these on their side, this little piece slides out. And then the little door here, to be able to slide that out. You can hide something in there. Pretty neat. Uh, the pair sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Sold at least one more thing in here that I'll go ahead and pull out. There's a patch. Let's see. Got a lot of patches right now. This guy right here, uh, US Air Force uh, radar system. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I'm sorry, $9.99 free shipping. Your name Ben got this. Ben, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, another patch out of here sold. Let's see. I think it's this one right here. Uh, 355th Tactical Fighter Wing. That sold for $9.99 free shipping. And I sold a remote out of here. This is a uh, remote for a Sony CD changer, like a 300 disc CD changer. I got this, another remote, and the CD changer at a garage sale for $10. Unfortunately, the CD changer itself did not work, but both the remotes did. So I decided to just sell the remotes separately. Um, this sold for $29.99, free shipping. All right, next thing I'm shipping is a Nintendo Wii right here. It's a big bundle with some games and controllers and all kinds of good stuff. Um, I got this a couple weeks ago as a big uh, part of a video game buy, and it sold for $69.99 plus shipping. That's kind of if you were named Amanda who got it for a niece and nephew. So Amanda, thank you so much for the business. I really hope they like that Wii. Next thing is a VCR. I think it's this one right here. It's an old Curtis Mathis VCR. It doesn't have a remote. Uh, my buddy Greg actually gave this to me for free, so thank you, Greg. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a Barry Sanders glass right here underneath Santa. That sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Next is in D3. This is a Robin action figure I got up in Fort Wayne as part of a big bulk buy. This sold for $5.99 plus shipping. That is going out to viewer Aditya and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name but I think that's how it's pronounced and they say hello Cincinnati Picker. I'm a huge fan of yours. I recently started reselling on eBay about a month and a half ago. I stumbled upon your videos and I was instantly hooked. You made it so easy to learn what to look for in garage sales, how to negotiate, even something as simple as having proper manners. Before leaving every garage sale, whether I buy something or not, I always wish them the seller luck on their sale. Thank you so much for all you have taught. Could I also get some stickers, please? Thank you so much for the kind words and I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Okay, next thing is a pair of shoes. Some Steve Madden's right here. I got these up in Pico, Ohio, when I bought some stuff from Danny and Parker. Got maybe about $5 into them. I listed them for $25 or best offer. Someone said a best offer of $18 plus shipping, and I accepted. If you're named Laura Lee, bought those. Laura Lee, thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like those shoes. Next thing we're pulling is in D2. This is an Anthony Davis jersey, something my buddy Randy gave me, so thank you, Randy. Um, this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing I'm pulling is a lot of police cars, little uh, die-cast cars, 
and I'm trying to remember where I put them. There's one back here. Yeah, that's number three. So that's the one I'm pulling. I'm gonna try to pull this stuff down and not cause a big avalanche. This is a total of 14 cruiser cars. Uh, these sold for $29.99 plus shipping. That's also going out to you where they say, thank you, big fan of your channel, love all the videos. Baskets resale. Thank you so much for the business. It means a lot. It's Tuesday morning. I've got about 10 things I'm shipping out today. And the first two things I already went ahead and pulled. Um, this one here, because it was in my storage unit, I went ahead and pulled it. This is a 1968 University of Cincinnati yearbook. Um, had it listed for like $25 or best offer. Someone sent a best offer of $18 plus shipping and I accepted. And then these two right here, I sold outside of eBay. If you want to Mikey message me about these, these are two LL Bean jackets I picked up two weekends ago. I paid $8 for the pair and I sold them to him for $50 shipped. Mikey, thank you for the business. Hope you like those jackets. This thing I'm pulling is in D1. This is Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii that sold for $13.99 free shipping. Next is down in C6. It is a Watch Dog timer, house sitter timer. Got this at a garage show for a dollar that sold for $11.99 free shipping. Next is back in F1, so I'm gonna move this big rack out of the way. It's a couple of spark plugs. I've got a dollar into the pair. They sold for $9.99 free shipping. Next is a video game in E4. This is Harry Potter Lego for the Wii. That sold for $13.99 free shipping. Next is in B1. Actually sold a couple things out of here, so I'll just go ahead and pull them both. Okay, there's actually a total of three things I sold out of there. Um, let's see, the first is this Bugs Bunny cake pan that I got at a garage sale last weekend for a dollar. That sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is a Sparkle Kitty uh, card game uh, that sold for $7.99 plus shipping. I also have a dollar into that. Your name Kim bought this for a daughter. Kim, thank you for the support. Really hope your daughter likes this game. And the last thing I pulled out of that bin is this old uh, rat trap, like rubber toy. Picked that up for $3 at a garage sale last weekend. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And that's going out to your name, Maurice. Maurice, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing I'm pulling is in C3. It is a zombie chia kit. I've got a couple dollars into that. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a Nintendo Wii in the box right over here. Got this at a garage sale last weekend, paid $30 for it, and it sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Next is this Domino Rally game right here. Picked this up last weekend at a garage sale for $5, and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And that Domino Rally game is going to have a viewer named David, known as the NC Picker on YouTube. David, thanks for the support. Really hope you like that game. Next thing is an E3. It is a vintage FTW t-shirt. Uh, unfortunately, it had some holes in it, so it hurt the value a little bit. I made sure I disclosed that. Listed it for like 20 or best offer. Somebody sent me a best offer of $15 plus shipping, and I accepted. Next thing is a G.I. Joe wrapping paper. I've had this for quite some time, and I'm trying to remember where I put it. I say it might be hiding back in here somewhere. There it is. I paid a dollar for this at a garage sale and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. It's Wednesday morning, I've got a handful of eBay orders to ship out. First thing is right here, I went ahead and pulled it from my storage unit. It is an Xbox 360 controller, uh, wireless. This sold for $19.99 for shipping. Next is a whole bunch of mugs. Some are down in A5 and some are up here in A7. So we're gonna pull all of these. All right, so there are three in each. We got three in here. And three in here. I got all six of these at a garage sale like two weeks ago, and I paid twelve dollars for all six, and they sold for eighty nine ninety four plus shipping. But I saw that the buyer was local and reached out to him and said, "Hey, I could just bring these to you and refund you the shipping costs," and he was cool with that. So I'm going to do that later today. All right, next order has two items. Uh, let's see. First is right here. Let's see if I can wiggle it out of here without doing any damage. And the second one is up here. I've got too much stuff in this place. It's hard to find things. 
So these are two big lots of police cars. I had three of these total. Um, I bought them up in Cleveland. I guess it's been like a couple months. So when I bought all those cars and everything. Um, same buyer got both of these. Let's see, this lot right here sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And this lot sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And I'm just gonna put them in the same box and refund the buyer the difference in the shipping cost. Dude named Joseph bought those for his son Joey's seventh birthday. So guys, thank you so much for the support. And Joey, really hope you like those cars. All right, next couple things are down here in D6. It's a couple of video games. Actually, I think I sold three or four things out of here. Um, I know that I sold both of these packages of tapes. One is a cassette tape two pack. One is a um, VHS, v, VHSC two pack, really old technology, but it does still sell. Um, I've got under a dollar into each one. This one sold for $12.99 free shipping. And the other one right here sold for $7.39 free shipping. Your name Doris bought this one and she wants to wish Liam a happy birthday from Florida. So thank you so much for the support, Liam. Hope you have a happy birthday. All right, the other two things. Um, let's see, we got a Wii game, Mario and Sonic Olympic Winter Games. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. And the other one is Lego Star Wars for Wii. That also sold for $8.99 free shipping. That Lego Star Wars game is going. That's a viewer named Clifton. He says, hey, John, I've been watching your channel a lot over the past year. My wife and I are middle school teachers, but in the last couple of months, we are starting to try our hand at reselling part-time. Our seller name is Kentucky Resell. Thanks for the wonderful videos. They are such a help. We enjoy the podcast as well. Thanks, Clifton. P.S. A couple stickers would be nice. Clifton, I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Thank you so much for the business. Next thing I'm pulling is a remote, an A1. This is a Sony remote for a 300-disc changer. I got the changer and two other remotes at a garage sale a few weeks ago. Maybe actually like six weeks ago. I think you guys saw me sell the other one a couple days ago, so... Now I'm selling this one. Um, I had $10 into the pair because the uh, changer didn't work. So I had $5 into this. It sold for $29.99 free shipping. Next thing is a big lot of baseball gloves. Pretty sure it is in this box right here. Yeah, that's them. Um, I got a huge bunch of baseball gloves up in Piqua a few months back. And I you know, handpicked a few to list individually. And all of these I just didn't think were going to be worth listing individually. So... I did a whole big lot of them and ran an auction. Started it at a dollar and they all sold for $108.50 plus shipping. Next thing is another lot that sold at auction. This is a big lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, mini playset from the 90s. These came out kind of when, like micro machines were really popular and um, you know, Ninja Turtles just did their own version of it. It wasn't licensed by Micro Machines or anything. I didn't know what these were worth, so I thought an auction would be a good idea, and it turned out really well, actually. Um, this whole lot sold for $154 plus shipping. Next is some light bulbs in C1. It's a lot of four Phillips lights. Um, the four sold for $17.99 for shipping. All right, last order has two items. First is an A3. It's a lot of five knives. I got like six or seven of these as part of a bulk buy, so I've got two dollars into it. That sold for eight ninety nine plus shipping. And the same buyer got something here in D one. This is a uh, speed sensing baseball. It tells you how fast you're throwing it, miles per hour. So that sold for eleven ninety nine plus shipping. And I'll just combine the two and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. This is going to be where he says, hey man, thanks for all your videos. You really have helped me with my business. Aside from reselling, I'm a pitcher in baseball, so this baseball is perfect for me and the knife set would make a great Christmas gift for my mom. Thanks for everything, and if it's not too much hassle, I would love some stickers. Thank you for the support, and I'll be happy to run some stickers for you. It's Thursday morning. I only have three eBay orders to ship out, so I'm going to answer a couple of viewer questions. First is from Dirty Money 411 how do you select to ship something in a USPS mailing tube? The ones you ship bats in, I can't figure out where to select it as an option. Thanks, big fan of yours. Thanks for the question. So what they're talking about is when you go into eBay and you're printing your label, you get a select like, you know, what it's going in. If it's the, it's like your own box you can pick or if it's like a USPS flat rate box, regional A, regional B, all those options. And this is the mailing tube that they're talking about. So when you ship in one of those mailing tubes, um, you just put in the dimensions. The medium mailing tube is 36 by 6 by 6. So just put that in the dimensions. There's no option to select the actual mailing tube. Just put that in and you'll be good to go. Next is from Seth McGregor. He asks, how do you mount your GoPro when you go to yard sales? What kind of mount and where do you mount it? I'll show you. So this is the mount I use. It is a little 
backpack clip and I'll go ahead and throw my backpack on, show you guys how I wear it. So the GoPro mounts right here and then this just clips right onto the backpack strap like that. Uh, that only costs about $10, but it is amazing. I really love using it. I heard about it from Justin over at RVA Flips. Um, he started using it like well over a year ago and he's made awesome garage show videos. So definitely check out Justin's channel. If you haven't already, I highly recommend it. I'll put a link down in the description for it. And I'll also put a link for this little backpack clip. All right, shipping orders now. First thing I sold is a rocking witch. Um, let's see, where did I put it? There it is. I got this at a garage sale about three months ago. I paid $2 for it. Um, it didn't fully work. The uh, It made noises, but the chair didn't rock. So I made sure that I put that in the description. And I think it hurt the value a little bit. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. If you guys come across Halloween decorations like that and they're cheap, always pick them up. I do really well with Halloween stuff. For whatever reason, it seems to sell better even than Christmas stuff. Next is in B3. This is a Cincinnati Reds jersey I picked up for a dollar at a garage sale. Not my size, otherwise I probably would have kept it. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And the last thing we're shipping out is right here. The Express Ready, Set, Go cooker new in the box um i got this somebody threw it away when my brother-in-law and i were going around the neighborhood looking uh for trash and stuff somebody put this at the curb uh, perfectly new in the box even has the original cardboard stuff in there like it's all sealed so i don't know why they threw it out this sold for $19.99 plus shipping friday morning i got a handful of ebay orders to ship out first is down here in b5 it is a hat right here. Annika Sorenstam Academy, uh, kind of like a corduroy purple. I paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale, sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in D3. These are some hunting pants, uh, new with the tags. Got these clearance down last season for about $9, and they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is right here in B2. It is a Dragon's Lair game. Here it is, PC game uh, with floppy disks. Got this um, at a garage show for 25 cents. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. That game is going out to viewers Zach and Ashley. They say, hey CP, big fan of the channel. We're also fans of how you treat people and the kindness that you show to individuals. Our favorite episode is where you meet a young man and recognizes who recognizes you and he's selling snacks. That was a touching episode and was appreciated. I think it's one of my favorites too. Uh, we would love a shout out to our eBay store. Pickle, Pinkleton's Nostalgia Nook. If you feel like sharing, keep picking and we will keep watching. Second, Ashley, thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate it. All right, next is over here in D1. This is a um, Marquee Waterford Crystal set of four glasses. Uh, my mom actually cut the set of garage sale and gave it to me to sell. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is down in B6. I think I might have sold two things out of here, actually. Um, handful of video games. Let's see, first is this NES Remix for 3DS that sold for $8.99, free shipping. Next is a GameCube game. Um, here it is. Button Kaitos, I'm probably mispronouncing that. That sold for $44.99, free shipping. And last is Castlevania for Xbox 360. That sold for $8.99, free shipping. That Castlevania game is going out to a viewer. They say, hey John, big fan of your channel. I watch it with my wife and brother. Lots of info and tips. Can't wait to watch the newest one. We all picked up our reselling game thanks to you. Much love from Eric, Richard, and Terry. Keep up the good work. Guys, thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>